So our final step is to change some of the instrument sounds to give the track a more Christmassy feel, changing the timbre, the sound quality of some of the tracks. So we are currently on our melody track. We've got that selected down here. So let's go up to the keyboard in the top left. And we're going to tap on the grand piano. And we're going to scroll down here until we get to other. And then if we scroll down, we will find near the bottom toy glockenspiel. Okay, and now what you've recorded, well, the notes will stay the same, but the sound will be the sound of a toy glockenspiel. So we'll tap done there. We'll come back to the tracks view. And this time let's select our piano bass track, this one here. Come up to the keyboard in the top left. Tap the grand piano and find other down there at the bottom on the left. And this time we want to choose the upright bass. That's the double bass there, okay? And then we'll tap done. Let's go back to the tracks view again, the brick wall on the top left. And let's select our piano chords track, this one along the top. Then tap the keyboard in the top left. Tap on the grand piano. Come down to other. And then we're going to choose strings pizzicato. So that's the strings of the orchestra playing by plucking their strings as opposed to using the bow. And tap done. Okay. Then you can go back to your tracks view. And we're going to play it from the beginning. But what you can do first is swipe out those volume controls so that as you listen, if you think any one track needs to be louder or quieter, you can adjust those volumes to get it sounding exactly how you like. So let's have a quick listen to the beginning of mine and then you can listen to yours. So changing those instrument sounds really changes the character of your track completely. And I think it's a good idea to have your melody and your jingle bells on full volume there. But you may think you've got a bit too much bass or not enough chords. You can play about with that and choose your own levels. Okay, fantastic, well done. Once you're happy with the sound of your track, you can export that as a WAV file. To do so, go up to the project in the top left. Now it's currently called My Song 5, so I'm going to rename that Jingle Bells. I'll call it Jingle Bells Export. Then I'm going to s tap Select up there in the top corner. If you have a slightly older version of GarageBand, you may need to select, I think it says browse at the bottom there, and then it will allow you to do the select. Tap on your file and then tap share. We want to share it as a song. And it will be uncompressed WAV there down at the bottom, that's fine. Tap share. And then tap open in and it will start to export your song. So once it's finished exporting, it's going to give you the choice to save to files. So tap save to files and then wherever you normally save your work, select that location, tap on save, and then you will have a music file that you can import into iMovie if you want to use it as a soundtrack for artwork or you could be reading a poem or a video of yourself giving a message with music underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to tap save there. And that's you done. You've completed your Jingle Bells project. Well done.